several major developments as we are now inside a week to go before the midterm elections and the final day of voting. It's something we used to call election day, but now it's just the last day of voting. But I digress. In a stunning poll from the Empire State, a new poll from Trafalgar shows you I was right way back when I said Lee Zeldin could become the next governor of New York. And I got a bunch of pushback from some of you folks, Giuliano supporters, and some nonsense about Zeldin not being up for the job. Well, there's a big move his way. So I guess I had that one right after all, along with several other spot-on predictions. And I'm humble, too. And why is Zeldin up? Because Democrats are pretending the issues they've caused don't exist. You see, Governor Kathy Hochul is saying that, with a straight face, by the way, that there is not a crime problem in New York City. And what you see with your own eyes, well, it's just not true. Listen to this delusional argument. Governor, now, these are master manipulators. They have this conspiracy going all across America to try and convince people that in democratic states they're not as safe. Well, guess what? They're also not only election deniers, they're data deniers. The data shows that shootings and murders are down in our state by 15 percent, even in New York City, down 20 percent on Long Island, where Lee Zeldin comes from. And it's the it's the it's the Republican states where they have almost no restrictions on guns because of the abundance of guns. People are killing each other with more frequency. The safer places are the Democratic states. I am truly sorry for Governor Hochul and all the Empire State Democrats, but that's simply not what people are seeing or feeling or knowing. And a winning campaign strategy is not to tell the American people over and over again, you're wrong, especially when you're trying to gaslight everyone and they know they're not wrong. You see, because murders were down in the Big Apple this summer compared to last summer, but all other crime was up and up big. In fact, the NYPD itself said the rate of serious crimes up over 35%. Take that, Governor. So these kinds of arguments just aren't sustainable. And I saw that months ago. I'm sure you did, too. That's why I will put my record against anyone else's right now on the predictions that have been made. Oh, and by the way, Zeldin, even getting the support from some of the Jewish community in that city. And that's largely because the state enacted regulations just this past September, they give New York's government powers to mandate what they can say in a specific secular studies curriculum, even at private schools. Democrats aren't keeping you safe, and they're overstepping their authority. It's not a good combination for midterm victory, that's for sure.